look at the ARC tool in ARCHICAD as the introduction part of this course. The ARC or the circle tool is probably the next on from the, the line tool. When we're drawing arcs, we have the ability to do this as a full circle. And of course the arc, but it's based on a center point. We can draw an arc or a circle based on a three point, or we can draw an arc or a circle based on tangents. We're going to use the first basic one here, which is based on the center point. So I always refer down the bottom of my screen, which is if I go to my palettes, my status bar, and it just tells me what to do. So if I get confused and I forget what I need to do, go read the status bar. Enter arc center point, click. Then enter arc start point. So if it's a circle, doesn't matter too much where I start. I'm going to start at the top. Now I could draw an arc, which effectively is a portion of that circle, or I could continue this all the way, the pi, all the way around until we complete the circle click and that would create a full circle. When I click on that we'll see that it's one object, one element, it's a full arc, a full circle, uh, it's not segmented. Whenever I select a line or an arc or anything, these little black dots will appear. These are called nodes and nodes allow us to move, edit, manipulate the element. We'll have a look at those in a little bit. Let's go to the arc tool again. Now I'm going to create an arc, but this time I'm going to be a little bit more deliberate about it, and instead of just clicking, I'm going to choose a distance. Now if I want to draw an arc the same as my square, or a circle the same as my square, I have to think about what I'm drawing. Sometimes in my videos you might hear me use the letter when I'm talking about typing in a distance D, and sometimes I'll use a letter R. R means radius, and D means distance or diameter. So you can basically put either of those options in, press R or D to put in a value, or you can just type in the value straight away if that's the only option that you have available to us. Of course, radius is half of diameter, so if I'm trying to draw a circle that has the diameter the same as my square, then I need to halve it for my radius. So I'm going to type in here 500. Click. All the way around. Click. Now in terms of my move commands, just to see how this works, I'm going to go to my arrow tool, I'm going to make this red, just so we can see it really clearly, select, sorry, select the arc or circle, right click, move, drag, and I'm going to click one point, in this case it's going to be the top node, I'm going to hover over my square, and we see this little dash, what does this dash mean? We have reference lines or snap points. When I click here, snap options, snap points, and that snap point is currently set to half, which means whenever I hover over a line, it's going to show me where half is. Now when I do that on a circle, where is half defined as? It's defined as our position based on the quadrant that we're sort of hovering over. So a circle is a little bit harder to define that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's do this again. I'm going to change this back to black. And I'm going to draw this one more time. But now I'm going to draw only a half circle, a semicircle. Define this by pressing D or R. Type in 500. Start at the top. And I'm going to go down to the bottom. Now I could type in here angle to stop this at any point. So I could make this 90 degrees. 180 degrees, 270 degrees. I can draw this in a clockwise direction. I can also draw this in an anti-clockwise direction. Generally in ARCHICAD we'll always choose to draw in an anti-clockwise direction for the sake of our reference line, but it doesn't, so matter, doesn't matter so much for arcs. Now to finish this off, if I want to make this exactly 180, I could type in that value, or again using my shift key, I can restrain to any particular snap point, restrain and then left click and that will finish or close that arc. Now if I get my arrow tool again, we'll see that this is a semicircle or an arc. It has a center point and it has two end points. Now if I click these points, left click, 
I get different functions. So when I click the middle point, I get a little palette, and it gives me move commands. These move commands are drag, rotate, mirror, and multiply. Please don't use this function. If I want to move this, what I want to do is right click, select it first, right click, move, and here are my move commands, but here are all of them. Drag, rotate, mirror, elevate, drag a copy, ro rotate a co copy, mirror a copy. Sorry, my speech is slurred, it's getting very late. Or we also find these under edit, move, and here are my move commands again. Now you might see on some of my videos, that I also have my move commands up here in a toolbar and that's because you can customize a toolbar and I like personally to customize a toolbar and add those move commands in and if you have a look at my videos available on YouTube you will see that I have one of my options which shows you how to create toolbars and you can do that for yourself. Now what else can I do? If I select this arc and select one of the endpoints instead of one of instead of the center point I get a different toolbar. Now and that's another reason why I don't want you to use these other options because there's better options available to us. We have move node which means we can stretch this circle or this arc. We also have the ability to angular stretch which means increase the angle but maintaining the center point. So depending on what you're trying to do to manipulate this you want to toggle between these two options. And then maybe we could increase the radius. Of course that's creating a very different sort of a circle. So we want to be deliberate about how we're doing that. Let's look at the other options really quick. Three point method might be used if we want to create an arc which might not be based on a circle. Now if I select this arc it will show us where that center point is and at any point I could grab not a node but the edge and I could using again these different commands stretch the angle or the radius of my arc so I'm creating a very very different sort of arc. I can do that in different ways, tangential, or I can offset, radially stretch this arc. So again, not concerned about move commands, I don't want to use those, but there are other options available to me to edit. So therefore where you click depends a lot on the functions you get. Are you clicking on an edge? Are you clicking on a corner or an end? Or maybe are you clicking on a center point? Different nodes serve different functions. That's the arc tool.